All right, YouTube, a little bonus footage here. You're getting uh, live and in-depth coverage of the removal of the rain tray. You know, we're out here in California. Yeah, it might rain once in a while, but whatever. I don't care if the engine bay gets a little dirty. We'll wipe it off, you know? I'm not even, not even tripping, dog. Don't even worry. But what I am worried about is getting the engine cooled down quicker, supercharger cooled down quicker, and more aerodynamics. So when you have the rain tray, it actually causes more lift when you're driving, which lessens your aerodynamic factor. You know what I'm saying? So we want that nose diving under that wind, obviously, creating more speed and winning more races. So that's what we're doing today. We're literally gonna do what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Torx bits, and they look like T20s. So we'll do that, show you how it looks. I actually like how it looks a little better too when you pop it open because you can see the sun through it. So check in a second. guys as you can see we have a freaking spiked cobra dinosaur <laughs> spine with our red little stickers on the side looks freaking dope you can see the rain tray all nasty so yes this will probably now be on top of the supercharger um but not too worried about it so yeah there you have it it's a uh, 8 t20 torx bits you just pop them out and uh, good to go. We use a little screwdriver, um, super simple. Let's check how it looks with the hood closed. You can definitely see in there oh, yeah. from the driver's view. So uh, that is pretty cool. I like to see that nice and open, but uh, most importantly, it's just for the aerodynamic factor. And cooling down the engine a little more um, they say to remove it for track days and then to put it back on in cali i mean i'm not too worried about it um, when we put that jlt intake it's an open intake um, right now i mean it would be totally fine if it rained um, but when we put the jlt in there and then it rains super hard and the water is splashing around in there we just got to be careful and make sure it's not really sucking in a ton of water um, it's not like the Challenger where the eye inlet is like routed directly at that intake. Um, at least there's a grill in the way here. There is a hole right here where the air goes, um, but it's not as direct. There's a little more space there and there's the grill in the front. So a little different, but uh, yeah, really easy to take off guys. So. Hopefully uh, we got that rear seat delete. We got that rain tray removed. We get that intake next. Then we're gonna go uh, upper lower injectors, uh, drive shaft rear diff brace, thousand <laughs> horsepower. No, we are not. Oh, we're not, just kidding. No, we're not. Maybe, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll we gotta get that. I'll film your feet. <laughs> 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 we gotta get that thing tuned up. Uh, eventually after we throw the intake on, we're gonna run it for a while with just the intake. Uh, it's supposed to be 30 rear wheel horsepower, so uh, that's cool. We'll run it like that for a while, and then uh, gotta throw the 180 T stat in there and then get it tuned and see what happens. So, um, yeah, that's all we got for you today. A little uh, rain tray, a little uh, action under the hood, action on top of the hood. So, you know, you wanna get some action on top of that hood? <laughs> You're stalling. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye.